In this lecture segment, we'll look at more pointer arithmetic and at how array parameters really work. And we'll discover that they're not arrays at all. In fact, you cannot pass an array as a function parameter. But pointers make it an awful, will look an awful lot like you can. So let's take a look at the function square array, which uh, squares each element of an array passed to it. On line 35, we pass int array to it. But the corresponding formal parameter on line 4 is a pointer, not an array. Remembering that int array does not mean the entire array, but only the address of its first element, and this makes sense. We're copying that address into the pointer parameter array so that array points to the first element, just like iPointer did in the prior lecture segment. The key thing to understand in square array is the expression star array plus index. According to the rules of pointer arithmetic, adding index to array actually adds the size of int times index to arrive at the array or at the address of array bracket index. For instance, if array starts at address 4000 and if index is 3, then array plus index is 4012 the address of array bracket 3. Dereferencing that address then gives the target array bracket 3 itself. In other words, star array plus index gets one of the elements of the array pointed to by array. And in the loop on line 9, we use this to fetch one of the elements of interray, multiply it by itself, and note, by the way, that the middle star there is just a multiplication. That's not a dereference. And then we assign the square back into the same element. Now, as we work with more complex pointer expressions like this, it's important to remember the difference between pointer or address and target. For example, array plus index is an address. It's not an element of the array. To go from the address to the element, you need the dereferencing star. So array plus index is in pointer land, if you will, and is of type pointer to int, not int. You never get a dereference. You never go to the target without using either a star or one of two other operators we'll discuss shortly. So question one. What does the following line print, assuming that int array begins at address 4000, as in the diagram, and that it has the unsquared contents uh, that were entered originally? The printf, then, is array plus 1, star of array plus 2, and just array plus 2. So stop and think about what those values would be. I'm coming back from a pause, they would be 4004, 42, and then 4008. The first and the third are addresses. They're not dereferenced unless you add the star. It's only the second one, the star array plus 2, that actually goes to one of the elements of the array. Now, the expressions on line 9 do work, but they're pretty tedious. There's an alternative. Function print array, down here, prints the uh, contents of an array, and it's called from main in the same way as square array was. But it uses no asterisks at all. Let's start with the function header on line 13. This has what looks like an array parameter using the bracket syntax that you're already familiar with for, uh, with from earlier C lectures or courses. A brief review, though, on that. Introductory C classes usually explain that you pass an array by using empty brackets for the formal parameter declaration, and that an array parameter, unlike ordinary parameters, is passed by reference, with modifications to the formal array parameter in the function having an immediate effect on the actual parameter down in the uh, caller. There. 
Also, any length of array may be passed to the parameter. It's uh, length agnostic, if you will. And if you need the length of the array in the function, you have to pass it separately, as we do here in uh, parameter dim in our example functions. This is all a lie. Well, okay, it's a major simplification, suitable for a CSC 101. But it's time to look at the reality now that we understand pointers. First, the declaration int array, empty brackets, does not declare an array parameter. There is no such thing as an array parameter in C. The notation name and empty brackets in a parameter list is a synonym for star name. Print array's first parameter is a pointer. It's identical to the first parameter of square array. Okay, so then why are we indexing that parameter in the body of print array? Can you index a pointer? Yes, and the result is what you'd expect. Array bracket index means the same thing as star array plus index. So it offsets the pointer and dereferences. In other words, array bracket 3, for instance, is the fourth element of the array pointed to by pointer array. So if a pointer is pointed to the start of an array, you can index the pointer to get to elements of the array. The net result here is that you can declare a pointer parameter that looks like an array, and you can use the parameter by indexing it. You get what looks like an array parameter, but in fact it's a pointer in disguise. Nothing requires the pointer to point to the start of an array, by the way. Uh, consider this question. Assume int array contains the data shown in the example. What do you think the following legal code would print? We'll set i pointer to uh, have the value int array plus 2. And then we'll print i pointer bracket 2, i pointer bracket minus 1, and literally just i pointer plus 1. So coming back from a pause there, the result would be 8, 3, and 4012. The assignment makes i pointer point to the third element of an int array, and indexing by 2 from there arrives at the fourth element, or I'm sorry, the fifth element, uh, number four. Indexing by minus one, by contrast, and that is allowed, reaches the second element. And then i pointer plus one alone is the address of the fourth element. Skipping in from 4,000 by three int sizes gets to the fourth element, uh, 4,012. It's uh, not unheard of for C programs to set up pointers into the middle of an array like this and then index backward and forward from the location of the pointer. You're even allowed to index uh, negatively from the start of an ordinary array, but you'll get garbage data or a runtime error if you do so. After seeing pointers being indexed and array names assigned into pointers, it's tempting to jump to the conclusion that pointers and arrays are interchangeable and uh, basically the same thing in C. This is not correct, however, and it's important to keep the two separate in your mind, despite their very similar behavior. A pointer is still an integer-sized variable that contains an address. If it points to the first element of an array, then there are two different pieces of memory involved, the uh, pointer and the uh, larger array. An array is just one large piece of memory comprising its elements. There is no integer-sized variable containing its address. The array name itself is not a pointer, just an address. You could not, for instance, assign a value into int array in our example code. It's not an L value. And the machine language translation of pointer indexing and array indexing is subtly different. The former starts by fetching an address from the pointer variable and then indexing off of that. The latter assumes a fixed array location and indexes from that. While we're on the subject, the relationship between an address and a pointer is that between constant and variable, e.g. between the value 42 and an int variable i. Both 42 and i are of integer type, but only i is an assignable L value. And likewise, both int array and i pointer are of pointer to int type 
but only I pointer is an assignable L value.